previously in Armor 3 Project Life. So the, what we're dealing with right now is a car was actually stolen. So we're trying to figure out what happened. So what, what was the guy wearing that you saw running away from the car? The car. Uh, I think pants, maybe. I don't know. He's wearing pants. He's wearing pants. White guy. Yeah, yeah. I think he was a white guy. So huh. did you see the man who, who took it? Do you have a description? Yeah, it was that guy in the tow truck. Uh, place, place what? Jamie Sharp. Sir, can you stop? Sir, stop the car! We're gonna have a pursuit at Bowling Alley. Prosecution. Please state the charges that Mr. Francisco Pete is facing. Your Honor, the first charge is first degree felony grand larceny. And the second charge is evading arrest or detention, which is enhanced to a third degree felony. Third degree misdemeanor upgraded to a second degree felony, is that what you said? It's a class A misdemeanor upgraded to a third degree felony, evading arrest or detention. Okay. How does the defendant uh, plead to these charges? Not guilty on the grounds of not guilty. <laughs> on the grounds of not guilty. Okay. <clears throat> Prosecution, can you please give me an estimated time needed to prepare the evidence against Mr. Francisco Pete? Uh, the evidence is ready. I provided you with a document with uh, it includes two pictures and body cam footage. Help, the defendant has it as well. Dude, All right, and for the defendant, how much time so would you annoying. need to prepare evidence to defend out. yourself? One of my people who I was going to bring to court right, with there. me That's is no longer on lot, uh, no longer um, awake. I think he left the island on vacation. So I want to call a mistrial because he was here earlier, but now he's not here and he had proof that he loaned me the truck. Uh, that's not cause for a mistrial. Um, <laughs> all that is is that you are down a uh, witness, but it is to my knowledge that you have no, another witness no. here. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, if I may, uh, sir, the, the I'm not char you're not being charged with uh, taking the truck. You're being charged. The grand larceny is with the Corvette, not the truck. Well, that's what that's what I'm saying though. If if I if I was given the truck to drive around, how could I steal a Corvette if I've been driving the truck? All right, I understand. I was just making sure that you're aware of that. I couldn't drive both of the vehicles there at the same time though, could I? No, I couldn't. So the argument in this case is that Mr. Francisco Pete is the driver of the tow truck or the driver of the Corvette? Um, we believe the the state is prosecuting him for stealing the Corvette. He was also in possession of a tow truck at the time. And Mr. And Pete, Mr. Pete, your side of the story is that you're driving the tow truck in this matter? Correct. I was in the tow truck. And if I was driving around in the tow truck, how did I... Um, Still a Corvette, if I, I was going to say Camaro, but how did I steal a Corvette if I if people saw me in a tow truck? Uh, please approach the be bench, Mr. Defendant, and show me your ID. All right, you may step back. Psst. What's going on? At this time, <clears throat> are you employed by any uh, faction, including uh, road <sighs> workers or business, Mr. Francisco? No, sir. I lost my job for getting arrested. <laughs> all right uh the prosecution is this all of the evidence that you have facing mr Francisco pete uh there's the vi the body cam footage and then the the two photos and then we also have a witness that we will uh bring to testify okay i i need the body cam footage that was not provided to me yet and then we will start with witness testimony all right should be in that document. There should be a link to it. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, where it that video is still processing. It's how's it? Okay, wait. Let me look. It says it takes. It's gonna take four minutes remaining. I don't know why it's taking so long, but that's fine. We can move You're forward okay? with uh, witness testimony at this time. Um, at this time, is there any defense attorney for Mr. Franisco, or are you representing yourself? I'll be representing myself because they couldn't get me a lawyer. User, the lawyer that was going to do it, they told no and they arrested him. <laughs> okay. Um, at this time, I will 
permit the prosecution to pull their witnesses first. You will have a, a moment okay. to cross-examine each witness, Mr. Fernisco. Uh, at this, and then once that's over, uh, the defense will defense. have their opportunity to pull their witness forward, and the prosecution will have their opportunity to cross-examine the defense's witnesses. At no time may the prosecution call the defendant himself up as a witness unless the defense himself volunteers himself to testify as a witness. Is that understood? Tyrus, you can do it. Yes, Alex, I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. Uh, the prosecution, you may begin uh, with calling up your first witness. Gareth, prosecution nice? calls Mr. Gareth McJenkins to the uh, stand. Yeah, my time to shine. Yeah, go Gareth. Mr. Gareth, you may step up to the seat directly to my left with the laptop. All right, the prosecution, you may come up and begin to question your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. McJenkins, are you in? Are you owner of a white Chevrolet Corvette ZR1? Yes, sir. Was it stolen earlier today? Yes, sir. It was stolen from in front of the fire department. All right. Approximately how long ago was that? Um, several several hours ago, sir. I'm not exactly sure what time it was. I want to say roughly. 2 o'clock p.m. Uh, mainland time would be Eastern. All right, sir. Could you explain to me what happened, uh, how it was, it was stolen? Um, so I was with my friend Alex Banner, and uh, we were just ha hanging out for a bit. We were helping a fire far, and I had to go to sleep. I love and we, I had to go to sleep for a quick minute. I had left him in the vehicle, and then at that time... When I went to sleep, I came back in, it was at least, like almost five minutes later, he proceeded to tell me that my vehicle was stolen, and that he had seen it, I believe, go down um, MSR towards cinema. So, a little while later, that's when you came up, and then you eventually texted me over Twitter, and told us that you found the vehicle. Okay. Hold your testimony for one second. DOJ to ST, arrest that person and bring them back to the courtroom. Not only are they going to be facing whatever charges they did, but also contempt of court. Alright, you may re uh, continue with your testimony. Alright. So, when you came to to the vehicle that was found when I called you, um, did you say that the man you saw was the one who stole it? Yes, sir. Okay. And is that man in this courtroom today? Yes, sir. He was wearing that exact clothing. The one in the tow truck. Can you identify that man? Yeah, that was him. Him right over there. Let the um, record show he's I'm, pointing I'm, to the defendant. I'm pointing to the right side, not to the guy in front of me. To the right. To the All man right, in sir. the plaid shirt. Correct, Your Honor. Alright, continue. Uh, no further questions. <laughs> Alright, the defense, you have your opportunity now to cross-examine this witness. Okay, uh, what's your name, sir? Do I have to answer oh. that, your honor? <laughs> His name was already state stated before the court. His name is Gareth McJenkins. Okay, Gareth McJenkins. McJenkins, no, not McJenkins. You know I'll make fun of your accent, okay? So anyway, I want to know, how common is this plaid shirt uh, to be honest sir not that common I usually see people in the red jacket as well as the Dude, I don't uh, think black stole the white dress clothes but you have seen somebody in a plaid shirt before have you not I just don't get why yeah, you're right when the guy came. it doesn't matter you saw somebody I didn't ask you when I just said have you saw somebody so you have objection, objection. argumentative uh, Wait, come, here, come here. Uh, uh, Who objected? Okay. What? How many black friends do you have? <laughs> You're on it. I'm not gonna answer that question. That's a bit subjective and. Uh... No, no, no. It's not, Your Honor, because he says he saw me directly. He pointed me out. He doesn't know me, Your Honor. So how could I? I want to know if you can justify the difference between black people. 
There's not no black, argument. Sir, he's white. Your Honor, <laughs> can I talk to the defendant real quick? Uh, not, you may. not the attorney. Come though. here. There's no case in this matter that is questioning discrimination. Uh, I will not allow that kind of testimony within my courtroom. Gotcha. Yeah, Alex I got it. I got told it. him who stole it. I got How it. How does he know what you look like? Okay, I got a. Here's the question: If you went to sleep. And Alex Banner told you what I look like. Objection, Your Honor. He's, he's asking for questions, questions from a random guy in the back. And to be and completely, completely honest with you, Alex Banner is over there in the white and uh and black tie. Alex, ba you said Alex Banner told you, but you told the state to the court just a minute ago that you pointed me out exactly who I was. As I, I showed I, up, I showed sir. I so up to you the, were not when the sure officer, if I was sir. the one who did it. Well, if Alex Banner points points you out and he tells me what you look like, and then I show up to the scene where my car is at and I see you running the away from me, the one who's defending the one who's defending me, you're you're trying to blame the one who I brought as my witness. I'm not sure. What, what what's your question, sir? Okay, I I, I rest my case. If you were asleep, <laughs> how did you know? exactly who I am because he can tell me what you look like and then when I show up at the site at the but where my vehicle told, is you at you told the court just a second ago it's that guy right there so you yes, never you were the guy that showed up at the, at the car you were the guy at the, the, car, the, guy at the car, car sir, sir. Mm, alright no. we're, we're in the court one question at a time okay okay I, I apologize judge you do not know exactly who I am. That's only hearsay. Am I correct? Pardon? <laughs> what? Have you seen me any time before you saw me at the tow truck? No, sir. Arrest my case. All right, defendant, you may step back to the bench. Uh, prosecution, you have a opportunity now to counter the cross-examination of the witness. Do you have any further questions? Uh, no, Your Honor. About the fleeing. Right. Witness, you may Ask step me about down. Fleeing. Hmm? Excuse me, um, Judge. Your Honor, um, Your Honor. The defendant was talking to someone in the audience that is not his counsel earlier. I'm, I'm wondering what that was. I was, I, I was not talking to. Gareth, you're not what? done yet. Come here. Your Honor, he was talking to this sir right Gareth here. Gareth is done, yes. Alright. Alright. At this time, I'm going to move forward. I was unable to hear any conversating between the defendant and any other party, so I cannot hold him responsible for that. Um, the defense, uh, you may call your first witness. I would like to bring up Sergeant Jake Thomas as a as a as a. Um, I would like to um, take up on the stand. All right, uh, the Sergeant Jake Thompson. You may take the bench directly to the left of my bench. Defense, you may begin your questioning. Uh, good afternoon, Sergeant. I'm a peaceful person, do you think? Sorry, what was your question? Um, do you think I'm a peaceful person? Uh, I would not say so, in my opinion. Okay. Now, when you pulled up, what was I driving? When I pulled up, you're not driving any vehicle. You're standing outside uh, the tow truck and the Corvette. So, if you had to assume, which one do you think I was in? Um, if I was to assume, I mean, it might, the you were closest to the tow truck, so maybe you were you're towing the car. Okay, but I cannot get the car on the tow truck, but. The, the Sergeant Jake Thomas here even says that he assumed I was in the tow truck. What's, now, what's, Sergeant, the what's the question? The question is, if I was the only one there, how could I get both vehicles there in just that little time? I don't know. You could have left one there. I mean, the Corvette was missing a wheel, so maybe it was crap. I'm just assuming, based on what you're saying, I'm just assuming that maybe... It crashed, and then you ran to a garage and grabbed a tow truck. I'm new to the island, so I cannot afford it. Oh, never mind. I digress on that. 
So if I'm towing it with a tow truck, and I see, and I told you, the guy took off running like that direction. Why did you automatically assume I stole the car? Uh, sir, I didn't automatically assume you stole the car. You just, they told me that you stole the car, and then when they came up, you you ran so away. You so you took the so. word, you took the word of someone who has never even laid eyes upon me. Well, at that moment, what? I didn't really have the opportunity to make a decision there, as you took off and evaded in your, in your car when they, they pulled up. Okay. And what happens when you start, uh, you start, uh, what, what happens whenever you start, uh, go into Z mode, you know, into that coma? What happens? You have to rush to a hospital. Am I correct? What Z mode? Like a coma. When, when you're in a coma, <laughs> coma, yes, it's good to go to a hospital. <laughs> okay. Now, I was starting to feel a coma coming on. I couldn't speak or anything. Is that correct? Um, not. I'm unaware, sir. Here say he, he would have no experience in that. All I was trying to do, and didn't I tell you when you questioned me, that I couldn't speak or anything, and I was just trying to get to the hospital. Uh, yeah, you, um, you were not able to speak correct when... At the end of the pursuit. So how can I tell you what's wrong with me before I die if I cannot speak? <laughs> you cannot. If you cannot speak, you can't tell me anything. So wouldn't you suggest somebody to hurry up and go to the hospital? Right, I'm sorry, what was the question? Relevance? I mean, what does this have to do with you stealing a vehicle? No, this is the evading part. He says that I was evading. Okay, I'll I'll allow the questions to continue on the relevance of evading. Your Honor, may I interject something really quick? What this is, is it pretty you important? Have to say? Let him do it. It's, it seems logical that um, the defense already stated that he. Let me just. May I get a little closer so everybody can hear me? Just so yes. I can ask him. Um, well, he already said that he had uh, gone into a coma, similar that <clears throat> most citizens of Fisher's Island like to call it zombieing, correct? Um, the prosecution already told us that he found the vehicle with one um, tire missing. That would mean that, uh, logically, our defense was in the vehicle. And I'm not blaming you for anything, I'm just kind of like putting the puzzle together and seeing what makes sense, of course. Don't take anything for fact. Um, our defense here was driving the Corvette at a high rate of speed, crashed into a tree. He was uh, rendered unconscious and ejected from the vehicle. Um, that's why he went into zombie mode, mode and that's, that's when Sergeant Jake Thompson, Jake Thompson rolled up onto the scene. Uh, that's incorrect, because I talked to Sergeant Jake Thomas when I was trying to tow the Corvette. So, so how so how were unconscious, school, sir? sir? I was starting to go unconscious. From what? And later what? on, I finally did go unconscious. What did you go, what unconscious, did you go unconscious from, sir? I got hit by... Oh, it doesn't matter. The prosecutor can ask me. Your Honor. Your Honor. That kind of does matter. It seems like it's an so, important, important um, um, thing in thing. The... Are you the prosecutor? Hush. <laughs> I rest yes, my case. Yes. Your statement was heard. heard. Let the questioning of the, wit the current witness continue. I, I rest my case, Judge. Your Honor. All right. As the witness is the prosecution, you may step down, as no one can cross-examine you. Are there any more witnesses that wish to be heard? Mr. Alex Banner. All right, Mr. Alex Banner, you may approach the uh, testimony. Prosecution will begin with questioning. Uh, this was a defense witness. Oh, the defense called this? Okay. So the defendant, you may start with questioning. Mr. Banner, what did you what did you see earlier today? Uh can you be more specific? Like when I got I there? Got there. <laughs> uh, no, let's let's back this up. Who do you know do you have a name of someone who stole that Corvette earlier today? Uh, no, I don't have a name. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to tell exactly who it is, so it could be anybody, correct? 
Yeah, correct. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. <laughs> My next question is, when you got to the scene, what did you tell the cop? Uh, I didn't say anything when I got to the scene. So you said nothing to the cop. What did your buddy say? Did you? What did you tell Mr. McNugget over there? Hey Jenkins, you dumb bastard. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what did, whoa. What are I my did, courtroom? I, I didn't tell him anything. <laughs> so you haven't told him nothing, but he stated under oath. He's lying. Did he not? He's not under oath either way. You told Fucking him nerd. it was me that was still in the Corvette. He told me it was him. That's why he's taking forever um, to answer. I, I rest my case, Judge. Alright, the prosecution, you may begin questioning. Alright, Mr. Banner. So earlier today, you were in the in Mr. McJenkins' white Corvette? Yep. Alright. And Ms. McJenkins went to sleep, and you were still at yep. the, with the Corvette? Uh, I got out of the Corvette and I was uh, standing in front of the fire department talking to some of the FIFR members and I uh, I noticed it, I turned around and noticed the Corvette was gone and the cops were telling me it was stolen and uh, I gave them the license plate like who owned the car. Okay. Um, I have to step in here for a second, Mr. Jake Thompson. At this time, what was the condition that the Corvette was in? When when it was taken, it was it was f perfectly fine. There were no wheels missing, nothing like that. All right, you may continue, Mr. Jake. All right. So, did you witness the Corvette being t taken? Uh no. When I I turned around, it was gone, and uh, the police were talking to me, and I uh, they said there was a white Corvette stolen, and I had figured out that it was uh, Gareth's over there, and uh, yeah. So you didn't see who took the the Corvette? No, not exactly. No. Do you have? Did you have an idea who took it? Because you you gave no. Mr. McJenkins a a description of the mail, did you? Uh, no. You didn't. Nope. All right. So the how, what did Mr. McJen how did Mr. McJenkins come like? Because he thought that uh, the defendant was the one who stole. How did he come across that then? Uh, I think just because he was the only person near the Corvette at the time. I mean, it wasn't too long after uh, the Corvette was stolen that the police found it, and uh, he was the only one near it, so it's just logical to think, I guess. Okay. No further questions. All right, the defense will have an opportunity to counter cross-examine this witness if they so wish. No, no, Your Honor, I'm good. Jenkins is nerd, I Alright, Mr. Alex Banner, you are free to leave the stand. Alright, thank you for your time. Your Honor? No, no, we to try yes, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but you wanted this uh, person being brought back for contempt of court regarding the fireworks? <laughs> yes, uh, just have him sit in the back of the courthouse <laughs> at this time. We are in the middle of a, a defense hearing, but after this uh, court is adjourned, I will... Speak with the defendant. Yes, Your Honor. This way, come on. <laughs> Alright, at this time, are there any more witnesses that wish to be called to the stand? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Alright, I will ask the prosecution. Yeah, um, that's fine. Your GoPro footage at this Thanks, time. Do you, right you have any there. specific uh, timestamps that you would like me to look at specifically? You don't uh, let me open it up. Uh, so, can I just, I'll just provide a timeline at first. So, at the beginning of the video is where I talked to the the two witnesses that came up today. Mr. McJankage, Mr. Uh, Banner. And they described that the vehicle was stolen. And around two minutes is where we find the defendant along with the tow truck and the Corvette. And then I run the God, Corvette, the license shot. plate, it is Mr. McJenkins' Corvette. I get the ID from, Mr. from the defendant. I believe at, a, at 9.20 is the most significant part of the video. That's where the two uh, uh, witnesses today drove up and then the defendant fled in his vehicle. 
And then the remaining part of the video is just the pursuit. He's triggered on Twitter. Yeah, but as the court is, is reviewing this GoPro footage at this time, uh, the court is in recess for approximately five more minutes. I got you, man. I'm gonna win this thing. Yeah. Hey. I don't know. So were you I don't know about like... Driving? Were you unconscious like, while driving? Oh, look, look, wait, wait, look. Almost unconscious, almost. Like, nah, it's a nah, stone but... car thing, like, he didn't even see it. Driving? No, just start, no, yeah. yeah. Not even solid person. Gotcha. Just... I know it. <laughs> no, Alright, I've seen and heard he everything he that zombie. I need to in this case, I feel. I'm gonna have a closing statement, um, for, for each party involved here. Uh, initially, I would like to open up my closing statement with thanking all of the witnesses for pro providing excellent testimony within this case. My closing statement towards the prosecution <coughs> is that I feel that uh, more charges should have been followed against uh, Mr. Francisco Pete. Uh, after review of the evidence, um, it is clear in within the evidence that he has cr he crashed into not only a police trooper. However, he also uh, rammed into the uh, Corvette in question. Um, well, and my closing statement to you, Mr. Wait, 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 hold, goes, hold on, hold on. Uh, you said I um, hit the Corvette. When was that? During the beginning of the evading at minute, like, 9.25. As the Corvette, you started I was to... trying to haul, um, trying to, um, haul, oh, never mind. Okay, good. As you're but, trying to leave the scene, can I you crash into a police trooper. Can you police? add more charges on me that the cop doesn't, or only the cop can add them and you justify them? No, I cannot. That's why so, I'm yeah, saying to the prosecution, I'm surprised that in this case, more um, charges were not led against you. So oh, that's okay, that's... okay. Um, at this time, Mr. Francisco... I want to appreciate your cooperation within the courtroom and appreciating the professionalism that is needed within this courtroom. However, I would like to state to you that given your testimony saying that you are recently moved into the island, I am surprised that you are acting in such a, a criminal fashion in this case. It, it may not be clear to the court as well as it is not clear to myself as the judge. I cannot find you without a reasonable doubt guilty of stealing the Corvette. So on the first so count, count of larceny, of which is against the the Corvette itself, the theft of the theft of the Corvette, of the, Corvette uh, the court does find you not guilty in that matter. Uh, however, uh, however, uh, the court uh, uh, does, uh, does find you guilty. guilty. I'm sorry, you, you interrupted me during my verdict? No, no, no. Get wrecked, get wrecked. <laughs> Again, on the second count of the felony evasion, uh, which is misdemeanor evasion, however, it is an enhanced as soon as you are in a vehicle. The court does find you guilty upon that charge. The court does find, without a reasonable doubt, that Mr. Francisco Pete uh, left the scene where he was already being detained. Uh, this constitutes to the felony evasion. At this time, uh, the judge will take a minute of recess to find an appropriate sentencing date for you. Your Honor, may, I, may I ask a question? You may. You said I'm guilty or not guilty on the Corvette. The court cannot find you guilty on oh, the okay, okay, okay. Corvette. Okay. There, there, there's, there's too many confusing circumstances here as far as the Corvette. I am not sure when exactly the Corvette did lose its wheel. I am inclined to believe that you did steal the Corvette, but given the fact that there is not enough evidence against you, I cannot be 100% sure without a reasonable doubt that you did. I will, have, however, advise you um, in the future that you should try to stay away from such a criminal life. Um, I think that one of the offenses that is leading me to believe that you did steal it is that the Corvette is missing a wheel and I personally believe that you were driving that vehicle at a high rate of speed and that is what caused you to be injured however I think it is not in the evidence that is provided against to the court today 
so I cannot be reasonably sure. Um, again, allow one minute of recess so I can find a, an appropriate sentence for you for your guilty charge I just walk of out felony again? evasion. Yes, sir. Duh. Hey, uh, Sergeant Thomas. Hi, sir. Uh, so, uh, you cannot charge me on those other crimes since we're already fixing this, right? Yeah, you won't be charged. Okay, and you cannot recharge me for uh, something that I was already found innocent on, right? Well, I mean, technically That's... you weren't charged with it, so... Well, I, I was charged, but he found me innocent. So you can't Yeah, you can't be recharged with the grand larceny, grand larceny unless, like, other evidence other comes to light or something. Or Oh, I thought I thought that was double jeopardy. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't be charged with it. It's double jeopardy. That was hilarious. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the court is now back in session. Uh, it is in the court's opinion that the defendant shall serve Jesus, a mandatory imprisonment. Jesus, that fucking officer thinks I'm still arrested for the first shit that I was like, oh, for. <clears throat> 100 months for the offense of felony evasion in the third degree. The defendant will also have a fine imposed on him of up to $20,000. If the defendant is not able to pay this fine at this time, uh, please advise the court, and the court will file a federally mandated forfeiture clause for the defendant. Okay, User left forfeit. your channel. Forfeiture. At this time, at this time uh, the prosecution, you may take the defendant into custody. This is so ordered by the court. Court adjourned. I'm sorry, how, uh, how, what was the time you gave? 100 months. For the offense of felony aversion and a fine of up to twenty thousand dollars. Hey, what's forfeiture? What, what the hell is that? They'll take it. Take it they'll take it from from you. Like, if you can Mr. pay Garrett, it, we're gonna have to forward, forfeit please. it. Based on your cooperation and testimony within this case, as well as the Justice Department, uh, you know, having a temporary lapse and failing you. I'm going to reduce your current sentence down to uh, 30 more months in prison, and that is all you will serve. Hey, Alex. Alright, let's go, sir. Hey, hey, Thomas. Yeah. I thought yeah. we were cool, man. Why do you want to try to do that to me? Uh, I, uh, I do what? Sentence, uh, I thought we were cool. I turned myself in. You said you were going to help me get a reduced sentence. <laughs> I, I I just thought that he I, I was surprised he did it that long. I thought he was gonna like ask me like oh how long do you think well, how long the sentence should be? be? Well, I'm just telling you if I have to he did steal that Corvette, I will leave him with you know how I would have done it? I would have walked up with a little Crown Vic, park it behind it, jump in the Corvette, drive off, and then I already, I happen already to hit a hit a hit a wall. Yep, he's yep, good. He's good. In fact, in fact, oh, really? just a second. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. That's uh, weird. That's, that's weird. weird. Again, if I did, if I did, time, time time and then happen to find a food truck that was unlocked. So he <laughs> he has 35 minutes. So. Oh yeah, it just happened. Weird, happened. Huh? Yeah, I wonder if, like, my body cam right now, since you're Miranda, is I can just use that and then we can charge you again. Because it's not double jeopardy if, if we come upon some more evidence. evidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, speculation just speculation is what you're saying. Yeah, speculation, dude. It's so long. Dude, dude I heard you know nobody waited. I don't know why I made that long. A hundred months off of this. That judge is a dickhead. By the way, uh, Mr. Thompson, I know you have a TV show. Can you tell uh, can you tell the people on your TV, little TV show that we are going to be having a barbecue next Saturday at five o'clock? All SD, anyone in SD will be there. We'll be cooking up food, and we'll also be having a rifle, a raffle. A uh, raffle? A, yeah, where, a car raffle. Where is it? Where, all this? Uh, I think we're going to have it somewhere in District One. I'm going to hmm, maybe Saturday in, five uh, o'clock. Yeah. All right. Cool. Anyways, you control of your own TV show. You could do what you want. But anyways, yeah. <laughs>